Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 11, Homework. Number 1. Complete the tables for the given rules. Line L is double X. So that means whatever X is, we're going to multiply it by 2. So on the first one, X is 1. So 1 times 2, the Y would be 2. For 2, we need to do 2 times 2, because the rule is double x. That would be 4. We get 2, 4. And the last one, 3 times 2 is 6, so we have 3, 6. Let's just go ahead and draw that. So we have 1, 2, 2, 4, and 3, 6. And I'll draw the line. And then let's do, so that's line L, let's do line M. So M, the rule is double X, and then subtract one. So this time we're gonna do times two minus one. So one times two is two, minus one is one. So this is one, one. Two times two is four, minus one is three. So this is two, three. And three times two is six, minus one is five. So this is three, five. Let's plot those. So we have 1, 1, 2, 3, and 3, 5. I'll draw the line. All right, compare and contrast these lines. So, these two lines are parallel. They're never gonna intersect. But, line, let's see. So the difference here is one unit. So you see how this, they're separated by one unit right there, and one unit, one unit. So that it's going to keep going up. So that next one should actually be right there, and right there. So they'd be separated by one unit. But line, let's see, M, this line, is one unit lower on the y-axis than line L. Remember, this is the y-axis right there, and this is the x-axis. See, based on the patterns you predict, what the line, based on the patterns you see, predict what the line for the rule, double x, then add one, so this would be times two plus one, would look like. Draw your prediction on the plane below. So this time, rather than doubling it and subtracting one, we're going to be adding one. So I think that it's going to go right above. So it's going to be one unit bigger than this one. So it's going to have coordinates right there. So it's just one unit greater. See that one difference? I'm going to go ahead and draw my prediction of what that line would look like. So I'll just say I think it will be parallel. to lines M and N. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Okay, circle the points that for, that the line for the rule multiply x by one half and then add one would contain. So multiply x by a half, so times a half, and then add one. 
So let's see if the first rule works. So 0 times 1 half would be 0. And then adding 1, we would get 1. So that one does not work. Let's see, 2 times 1 half equals 1. And then adding 1 would get us 2, so that also does not work. Let's try 2 times 1 half. That would equal 1 plus 1 equals 2. So this one does work. And 3 times a half equals 1 and a half plus 1. That would get us 2 and a half. So that one doesn't work either. So the only one that works there would be 2, 2. And then lastly, or explain how we know. So we can just say I multiplied and then subtracted 1. from the x values. Give two other points that would fall on this line. So let's just pick, know, I'll do 6. So 6 times a half would be 3 plus 1. That will get us 4. So 6, 4. And then I'll pick, let's do 8. 8 times a half is 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So we'd have 8, 5 as well. You could have other points. Yours do not have to match mine. Pick any number, multiply it by a half, and, see, and then subtract 1 and see what you get. Number 3. Complete the tables for the given rules. Line L. Have x and then add 1. So kind of like what we just did. So you can either think of it as multiplying by a half or dividing by 2. So let's just think of it as dividing by 2 plus 1. So 0 divided by 2 is 0 plus 1 is 1. 0, 1. 1 divided by 2 is 1 half plus 1 is 1 and 1 half. 1, 1 and 1 half. 2 divided by 2 is 1 plus 1 is 2. So we get 2, 2. And then 3 divided by 2 is 3 halves, or 1 and 1 half, plus 1 is 2 and a half. So let's plot those. We have 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1 half, 2, 2, and 3, 2 and a half. So I'll go ahead and connect those points. That is line L. Let's do line M. So M is half x, so again, divided by 2, plus 1 and 1 fourth. So 0 divided by 2 is 0, plus 1 and 1 fourth will be 1 and 1 fourth. 1 divided by 2 is 1 half plus 1 and 1 fourth would be 1 and 3 fourths. 2 divided by 2 equals 1 plus 1 and 1 fourth would be 2 and 1 fourth. And then 3 divided by 2 is 1 and 1 half plus 1 and 1 fourth gets me 2 and 3 fourths. Alright, so let's plot those. We have 0, 1 and 1 fourth. It's going to be right there. 1, 1 and 3 fourths. So over 1 up to 1 and 3 fourths is right there. 2, 2 and 1 fourth. And 3, 2 and 3 fourths. 
So let's draw our line. a little bit better. Okay, compare and contrast these lines. So I'd say these lines are parallel. And I would say that this is line M. Line M is just a half a unit, not even a half, one fourth unit higher on the x-axis than, or higher on the y-axis than line L. So it's just a little bit of a difference, and that is one-fourth of a difference. C. Based on the patterns you see, predict what the line for the rule have x and then subtract one would look like. Draw your prediction on the plane above. So if this blue line or line L is have X and then add one, then have X would be one lower than that. So I'm just going to do, so this would be just line X because it's going to be two units lower, or sorry, one unit lower than line L. Now this is have X and then subtract another one. So if I'm going to go down another whole unit, this line would be right here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw what I think that line would look like. Probably look something like that. And draw your prediction on the plane above. So I say it would be two units lower than line L because it's, I'll say because it's minus one instead of plus one. Circle the points that the line for the rule multiply x by 3 fourths, then subtract 1 half would contain. So we're going to multiply x by 3 fourths, so 1 times 3 fourths equals 3 fourths, and then subtract 1 half. So that would equal 1 fourth, so this one works. So 2 times 3 fourths, that is 6 fourths, or 1 and 2 fourths, minus 1 half or two-fourths, that would be one. So that rule does not, that ordered pair does not work. Three times three-fourths is nine-fourths, and nine-fourths is equal to two and one-fourth minus one-half. Get me one and three-fourths, so this one does work. And three times three-fourths, we just did that one, was two and one-fourth minus one half wouldn't equal one. We know it equals one and three fourths, so that one doesn't work. Explain how you know, you can just say, I use fraction multiplication. And then kind of draw an arrow to it, because there's our work right there. Give two other points that would fall on this line. So let's just pick four and figure out what would go with four. So four times three fourths would be equal to 12 fourths or three. And then we subtract a half, we get two and a half. And then let's pick eight. 8 times 3 fourths is equal to 24 fourths 
or 6 minus 1 half would get us 5 and a half. So 8, 5 and a half. You can pick two different points. As long as you follow the rule, it will work.